Hello, this is Jessie of Jessie at Home. I'm going to show you how to make a chain a slip knot with your crochet hook and how to make a chain stitch in crochet as well. These are the two skills you need to get started with crochet and since these are really getting started skills I'm also going to talk to you a little bit about how to hold your yarn and your hook and about the anatomy of a chain. As far as the yarn and the hook that I have, I have a worsted weight or size 4 yarn and a US J10 or 6 millimeter crochet hook. I find this is a really nice combination for somebody who is just learning how to crochet. As far as holding your hook goes, some people hold their hook in what is called a pencil grip, kind of like when you're writing, and some people hold their hook in what is called a knife grip, kind of like when you're cutting up your food. I use, use the knife grip because that is how I was taught when I was taught how to crochet. You use whatever feels good for you. So first we're going to make that slip knot. I like to make the slip knot with my crochet hook, so that's what I'm going to teach you. I start by taking the yarn from behind the crochet hook, okay, and then I take, this is the, this is the yarn end or tail end, the tail end of the yarn. This, that's still attached to the ball of yarn, is the working end of the yarn. So I'm going to take the tail of the yarn and I'm going to wrap it around the crochet hook and kind of in front of the working end of the yarn. So here's the working end of the yarn and here's the tail. And so I'm kind of crossing it over. Now, holding on to that end so that it doesn't just fly away, <laughs> I'm going to take the working end of the yarn, I'm going to wrap it around the crochet hook, and then I'm just going to pinch that little crossover I made, and with the crochet hook, I'm pulling that loop through, I'm pulling that yarn over through the little loop that I made. Now I pull, and I have a slip knot. That's all it takes. Now we're about to start our chain. I want to talk to you about how I like to hold my yarn or tension my yarn. What I do is you want the yarn to be coming over this finger. I got wrap over my pinky, then under, then over, and then under, and that way I have this strand of yarn that comes from on top of my finger to my crochet hook, and this is the yarn that I get to work with. Okay, and this gives me some decent control of my yarn. Now, if you find that your stitching is too loose, you can actually wrap the yarn around your hand once and then tension it. But I find that most people, when they get started crocheting, are actually usually crocheting tight. So you might not want to do that. I usually just do this, and you can actually hold tighter or looser to create your tension, and that's why people, when they're first starting, crochet tight, because they're really tense and they hold like this, <laughs> okay? Now, what you're going to do to crochet your chain stitch is you're actually going to pinch with your middle finger and your thumb, you're going to pinch that little neck of your stitch. Okay, we call this point the neck of our stitch, and this is kind of the neck of our hook, so or the point of your stitch, either way. Um, and that way, you your little loop isn't just going to flop around. Okay? Now we're going to yarn over, and that means the yarn goes over the hook, okay? The yarn goes over the hook. You do not want to do a yarn under. This is incorrect. Yarn goes over the hook and wraps around, and then I take the hook part, part of the hook, and I turn it down so it's towards the point of that stitch, and I pull through. And that sounds like a whole lot, but it's really just me giving you every single little detail. All you do is yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through.